Hey everyone. I built this cedar bath stool. I really like the aesthetic of it, adding it to the bathroom, and you can use it to sit on it, you can put little plants on it, add some candles, or even store some towels in there. Follow along as I build this project, and please hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get to it. I made this stool out of cedar, and I started off by cutting my two by six boards to 16 inches. The dimensions for the stool is 10 inches deep, 12 inches wide, and 16 inches tall, which is why I cut them down to 16 inches and then I'll cut it to size later on. I made the thickness of each board 1.5 inches by 1 inch. It gave enough meat and I like the look of that. So here I'm ripping it down to 1 inch wide boards. I drew this whole project up on SketchUp and to get the angles I wanted I used 6 degrees to get it to the exact heights. A great thing about SketchUp is that you can reference all your measurements and your angles on that project. Now with all the components all completed, it's time to assemble the legs. As I mentioned, all the angles that I cut were at 6 degrees. I guess it's just a bit of understanding which way you want the angle to be cut. For the legs, you want the angles to be cut parallel to each other. But for the mid brace, you'd want the angles to be cut opposite of each other. This will make it so that your feet and the base of where your seat goes will be parallel to each other and parallel to the ground as well. With the legs gluing up, it's time to assemble the seat sections. I mitered the joints here to get a nice clean 45 angle. And I used the tape trick to glue up my angles. I find it pretty handy to tighten it up and get the miters nice and tight. For this section of the seat, I was able to use dominoes to space them out fairly equally. This gave tight enough spacing and kept it consistent. With both sections done, it's time to sand it up. I traveled through my grits and just took my time. On the top seat, I also ended up cutting a 10 degree bevel. 
it just added a nice detail to this bath stool. I added a one inch space for the bottom shelf section. Instead of marking it on the legs, I ended up just using a one inch spacer on each end to give me the height I needed. And I ended up gluing two spreaders at the top for more support. With the spreaders all glued up, it's time to attach the top seat. I'm a really big fan of Type Bond 3 glue. It is my go-to adhesive and the one I use all the time. And once all the glue cleanup is done and the final sanding is ready, it's time to add some finish. And just like that, we have a bath stool. It's definitely a nice addition to your bathroom and adds a finishing touch to a well-designed bathroom. Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for tuning in.